Can just two spoonfuls of vinegar reveal whether a stone in your hand is worth thousands of dollars? Many people wonder if it's possible to test raw diamonds at home with simple methods, without expensive devices. In this video, we'll walk you step by step through the vinegar test, explaining why it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, and what subtle signs you must pay attention to so you don't get fooled. The basic idea is that diamonds are chemically inert and do not react with vinegar, while some carbonate or calcite stones will show bubbles or surface changes when submerged. To perform the test, you'll need distilled white vinegar, 5-8% to acidity, a clear glass cup, distilled water for rinsing, white tissues, a magnifying lens, and maybe a fake stone for comparison. First, clean the stone thoroughly to avoid false bubbles, then pour some vinegar into the glass and drop the stone in gently. Watch for 3 minutes, if you see fine bubbles constantly rising, this usually means the stone is carbonate or a softer material that reacts with acids, so it's not a diamond. If nothing happens, that's a good sign, but not absolute proof. After removing the stone, rinse it with distilled water, dry it, and examine its surface, a diamond will remain unchanged, while some stones may look dull or slightly eroded. But remember, no reaction doesn't always mean it's a diamond, because hard stones like zirconia or moissanite also don't react with vinegar. That's where complementary tests come in. For example, the fog test, breathe gently on the stone, diamonds disperse fog quickly, while glass or zirconia hold it longer. Another is the reading test, place the cut stone on small printed text, diamonds scatter light so strongly that letters are hard to see, while other stones may let you read them clearly. There's also the scratch test on cheap glass, diamonds scratch easily, though moissanite can also do this, so consider it only an extra clue. To summarize, if the stone reacts,